What's good, YouTube? It's Alert Gummy coming at y'all with the first video of 2020. Before we even get started with the video, I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's this year. Make sure to chase your dream and chase after that bag. It's 2020, you know, it's a chance for you to grind. But as you can see off the bat, we're gonna get straight started with the video. Today, we're gonna be covering Green Machine. Green Machine is one of the most OP badges if you know how to shoot because it gives you an additional boost for when you hit consistent greens so that means after you hit two two greens that badge is gonna start going crazy but before we even get started on the game make sure to smash that like button if you're a returning subscriber you don't want to miss a single thing for game one we are going up against the finisher he's a straight slasher you're gonna see me just straight expose him come on now he tries to dunk on me but get that out of here get that out of here as you can see i only have one defensive badge and that's intimidator on bronze i love intimidator as you can see it made me just make him for i it made me stop his animation from finishing that dunk if i didn't have that badge he would have straight got that posterized on me he would have finished it off but as you can see he did not manage to do that one thing I want to say though, one thing I want to say is that people sleep on Intimidator. Do not sleep on Intimidator. At least even put it on bronze if you don't have any. But as you can see, the first shot of the game, we miss it. We miss it. It was a full wipe. We miss a full wipe in the corner, 2K. Come on now. Don't worry about that. That's going to be the only shot you're going to be seeing me miss in the first game. I'm going to give you a spoiler. That's going to be the first shot and it's going to be the only shot. So the thing about Green Machine you want to keep an eye out for is what? The consistent shoot. What is consistent? What is consi considered? What's considered a consistent shot? That means two shots are considered two consistent shots. If you get what I'm saying. So you only need two shots. What you can make them. They just have to be from anywhere. They have to be green though. If you green two shots the green machine badge will start popping up that's what you want just two shots so you can start off by if you don't have a high three i would suggest going inside go and take a nice midi you know get two midis and start cooking up once you start cooking up once you have that green machine like right here as you can see he's laying off me he thinks i can't shoot i hit that that's green team now we need one more shot for green machine to pop up as you can see my homie gets the steal right here he hits me i'm just waiting i'm just being disrespectful right there i hit another green that's two greens back to back now as you can see green machine is gonna pop up as you can see is right there green machine right there silver as you can see you're gonna ask me alert why did you put it on silver but not hall of fame i can tell you i love it i love the badge on silver i think on silver it's the right amount if you have someone who knows their shot and but do not have a lot of badge points i would suggest putting this badge on silver put this badge on silver and you will not regret it if you have a lot of badge points uh, 30 out of 30 put it on gold do not put it on hall of fame i think put it on hall of fame is a waste of that extra badge that extra badge you can move it around but as you can see right there yo, i'm just messing around with him right there he hits me back he's the little man's playing up he's playing up on me he's playing up on me that's what we pass it out with five seconds left on the clock the homie shoots it he misses it and the score is 11 to 8 right now the score is not looking too good but we are not worried that's the thing about the three versus three program you do not want to be sweating you just want to get that chemistry cooking that, as you can see he hits that green and right now it's 11 to 10 the score the score is looking is looking not that good as you can see he uses that bella to pass it to me but they are both playing up on me as you can see they're playing up hard on me yeah he passes it on to me but my guy the slasher he's staying up he's keeping his hands up he's playing some good defense which is good right now i need one shot 
As you can see, the, the homie passes on the ball to me with three seconds left on the clock, and I just try to put it up so they can get the rebound. That was the game plan. If you pass it with like four or three seconds, I do not have time to actually set myself up for the shot. So I just go drove inside, and we got the they got the sh uh, shot clock violation, which is okay. But as you can see. He just dunks on me, he posterized me, I'm not gonna lie. But me, I always try to go for the for the defensive attempt. It's always good. You never know. You might you might miss that dunk. But some people be getting scared to get dunked on. If you're playing defense, do not be getting scared. As you can see, I am guard I am guarding the hooded African, man. I like that name. Hooded African. I love that name. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm African, but damn, the big man's just finishing the slasher right there. He's finishing. As you can see, me and the homie switched. That's because he's got more defensive badges and we thought it'd be a smart idea for him to go inside right here. I'm trying to use the post spin technician. I do a beautiful screen. As you can see, I don't be using screens. I don't be using screens at all. But when I use them, I use them correct and I get the homie opened up and it's 14 to 14. Right now I'm playing up on the shooter. That's what I'm telling him. I'm playing like let me guard the shooter if in case he comes inside right there. That resells the shot right there. I don't know whether he felt the pressure, but he sold it. He sold the game right there. Right here I am telling him, yo, my guy, I see he wants to help. But he says he's got the open shot, but the homie gets the rebound, and he kicks it out to me, and that's green team. The thing about green uh, green machine is that the shot, the green window, after the second shot, after you, your second consistent shot, once the bat actually starts popping up, the green window becomes easier. Your jump shot starts feeling more fluid. That's why you, when you see people, they start getting rhythm, they start hitting two to three greens, they start getting on fire because it becomes easier. As you can see there, I moved to the right a little bit and that's another green. That's four greens in a row. And as you can see, every time that green machine is popping up, I have it on silver and I am greening that's why I'm telling you make sure to put this badge on silver do not put it on Hall of Fame it's not that worth that extra badge right now but as you can see the homie gets robbed and he takes he takes a crazy dribble pull up right now and the score is 20 to 18 right now as you can see we have hit four four greens in a row four threes in a row to make it consistent as you can see I, this is the reason why i found this badge op we went four for five from the three point line before we even go into game two if you are if you're new to the channel don't forget to smash that like button you don't want to miss a single video let's get to 90 subscribers as soon as possible yo let's go crazy man For game two for the first shot you already know what color it is that's green that's green team come on now as you can see right here that it's really weird it's really weird everybody i'm going up against it's a post going or glass cleaning i have not went up against the same build as myself which i found good honestly it's the second shot nobody's guarding me the big man does not want to guard me he just wants to stay on the inside that's the thing about post scoring and glass cleaning most of the time when they get their batch they want to utilize it on scoring and blocking on the inside so that leaves me as the shooter open as you can see right now we have the green machine the green machine is technically activated because we already made two shots that's what you need you just need to make two greens back to back that's the thing I this why this badge is honestly if you do not know your jump shot this badge do not equip it it's a waste of a slot it's a waste of a slot do not equip this badge if you do not know how to green if you're shooting four whites and they're going in get flexible release stick with what you know but if you know your jump shot and you know that you can green consistently make sure to pick up this badge this badge will turn your player from average to a straight demigod because every time you shoot after two shots you get that you get that boost but as you can see right there though 
I tried to score on the on the opposite net on my own net. I don't know what would have happened there. That is one of the most weird moments. Cause as soon as the shot clock went, my character just grabbed the ball and he just threw it. He said, "Yo, I'm out, man. I'm done." He said, "I'm done." That was weird. We were laughing. We were going ham in game chat. We were just dying. We were like, "What? What the hell? What is that? Just, just what just happened?" As you can see, the plan, the game plan was they just threw the big man the ball. That's all they did. They just like, "Yo, big man, get us out of trouble." So we all decided just clog the paint. The big man cannot do anything with the paint being clogged. As you can see, that's what I'm saying. That's the game plan when you're playing against slashes they have two slashes and a post guard he hits me in the corner and the big man is sagging and as you can see the green window it's a lot faster it gets quicker when you get you have that green machine when you have that green machine the green window it's a lot quicker your jump shall be feeling smooth and buttery that's why that's why when you see people make consistent shots the jump shot become it's not seeming like it's become more faster but that's weird though we make the last shot of the game and that's how many shots that's four threes in a row that's why i found this badge to be one of the bad or the most op badges if you know your jump shot so the pros of the badges is that it turns your player into a demigod if you know how to green the cons is that if you do not know your jump shot do not get this badge do not get this badge because it's gonna be useless i would suggest getting flexible release or another badge if you are just getting four whites but if you're getting greens pick up this badge and put it on silver test it out on silver first and then you can put it on gold do not put it on hall of fame but i hoped all this information was helpful if it was make sure to smash that like button let's get 20 likes on this video for 2020 come on now if you're a returning subscriber, you already know what to do. Come on now. And without further ado, I'm out.